Hello everyone, in this video we'll try to print this pattern. Okay, so we have already done lots of codes for pattern in Java. Now this is one of the codes we'll be focusing today. Now, uh, so before starting with this, we'll try to print a pattern which is this one, one, um, then one, two, one, two, three, and one, two, three, four. So if you can print this one, then we'll move towards this example. Now for this, what we need is we require a for loop. In fact, we require a nested for loop. So I will start with one, and then <coughs> we need to mention four there because we want to print four rows. Since we have four rows here, so we have to say i equal to one, and I will go till four. And in each row, we want to print some elements. So we require one more for loop, which is nested for loop here, and which will start with j. So j will start with one. Now j will go till the value of i because if I if I go till four, it will print four values. I just want to print the number of values will depend upon number of rows. So for the first row, it will print only one. For second row, it will print two. For third row, it will print three, and the fourth row will it will print four. For that, we need to print. So it's not Alan. We need to print the value of j because j is incrementing continuously, and then we'll provide a space there. And after the nested for loop, or after the enough for loop, we have to give a new line. And now if you run this, uh, you will see the output is this one. So you can see one, and then one, two, and then one, two, three, and one, two, three, four. So that's this is what we got here, right? But this time, we are focusing on this example, right? We want to print this pattern. So there's one, there's one difference between this pattern and this pattern. In this pattern, the below pattern, we are just printing the values. But in the above pattern, first we have to print the spaces. So from here till this point, we have some spaces. From this point to this point, we have spaces and we have a space here. So that means before printing the actual values, we need to print spaces. So this for loop is responsible to print values, right? So before this for loop, we need to use a uh, one more for loop which will print spaces. So we we'll start with k. So that uh, the the counter will be k here. So k will start with one. Now k will start with one and it will go till. So in the first row, we 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 want to print three stars, right? In the second row, we need to print only two stars. In the third, sorry, two spaces. In the third row. We need to print one space. So for that, instead of starting with maybe one, we'll start with three and we'll say less greater than equal to i and k minus minus. And for all this, instead of printing a space, let me print a star and space. Okay, so that we can at least see what's happening here. So if I run this code, oh oh oh, unfortunately I mentioned ln there. So if I run this, you can see we are getting that pattern, but instead of printing spaces, I have printed stars. So this is the this stars are coming with the help of k loop, and this one, two, three, these are printing with the help of i loop. So instead of star, if I print a space, and if I run this, so this is how we need to print spaces and then the pattern. Cool. So that's it from this video. Thank you so much.